Good morning, folks. We've got news from here to Andromeda today, including the approach of an excess magnitude earthquake warning, much grander than the weekly ebb and flow. Coming to spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on our star to be quite calm and subdued, no eruptions, no flares, and the solar wind back at Earth is calm, allowing geomagnetic conditions to continue their quiet period. Solar wind from the now departing coronal hole is due at Earth within about a day, expected to be weak to moderate at worst. Next, we take a look at what a difference a year makes for the Sierra snowpack. This comes as the snowstorms responsible for that future spring meltwater have been dropping record snow marks across the country, and that is not going to stop yet as the largest two-day stretch of record-breaking snowfall yet is on the way. Many areas that have fallen short of their records so far will get there by the weekend. Let's take a quick jaunt down to Mayotte. Rough go for the earthquakes, volcanoes, and low harmonic tremors in the dome beneath. They are beginning to see all the signs that it's time for an exodus to the mainland. Let's jump right out to Andromeda where that recurrent nova has now been studied in greater detail. Not only did it nova millions of times, but it's now gone, meaning that it may likely not be a binary, just a single progenitor. They repeat until they fall. Interesting bit of insight gleaned from preserved leaves in Australia, where the famous 12-year millennial drought appears dwarfed by many major events over the last few thousand years. MIT jumping in to say that extra heat will make storms worse, but stagnate circulations that shift them around to drive wilder weather. The problem is that increased cosmic rays are actually what's having that effect, and they increase that circulation. This goes on very short-term scales for high solar activity as well due to the global electric circuit connection to the ionosphere. Last but not least, folks, we are entering the danger zone. You may recall that from the solar polar magnetic fields, back on January 24th, even as we were a week overdue for a magnitude 7 earthquake, we said you still had to wait. That period is rapidly approaching now, and I've seen nothing in the solar polar fields data to suggest the negative peak in the fields is not coming on schedule. We've now more than doubled the expected time wait for the next magnitude 7 event according to long-term statistics, and that time is marching towards us. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.